Christina DeAngelis says her cat baby cat was an indoor outdoor cat was tough but loving would run from these woods here every morning to meet Christina at the front door at her house. But it was one morning not too long ago that Christina opened the door to find out that baby cat was badly hurt and bleeding. Somebody had shot her. She was laying right there and I noticed her arm. I could see her arm and it was really bloody. Christina DeAngelis' family has hurt every day since the morning they lost their cat, baby cat. I was just like crying so hard. I like felt like I was going to pass out like I just couldn't like I couldn't get it together. But she swears her pain doesn't compare to what baby cat suffered that Saturday morning two weeks ago. Her meow the whole time there was just like the most awful like excruciating thing ever. At first she thought baby cat was hit by a car. It wasn't until the vet came back in the room with x-rays showing the cat was shot. When I found out I was like cursing, I was screaming, I was acting like a lunatic. I couldn't breathe. I was crying so hard. The bullet hitting baby cat's jaw lodging in her shoulder. They had no choice but to put her down. We were both there with her and she was sedated. And even it's though really she funny. still has her cat burrito and another kitten around, she's still working with the Flagler County Sheriff's Office, hoping to get results and get whoever did this caught. It's such a happy life. She was she was so happy. She was treated so well. She had a wonderful home. And then the final hours of her life were just filled with like fear and and pain. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office wants to remind folks that if you have a problem or a complaint with an animal, there are proper agencies that you can contact like animal control, for example, that you don't have to harm or kill the animal. And if you do, you can face some serious charges, including a felony in Flagler County. Nadine Giannis, News 6.